Hello. Today we're going to convert some inexpensive fountain pens to eyedroppers. Uh, the reason to do this is that these pens are pretty decent and incredibly inexpensive. Each one of these is less than four dollars. I bought three of these today and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and they hold an enormous amount of ink when you do this. And um, you also won't be afraid to loan it to people or drop it or anything else. And you can pick any color ink that you like. So uh, it's really fun. These um, are platinum preppies that we're going to do now. I'm going to do another video with the Pilot Varsities, a slightly better pen. But these platinum preppies are great and they're fun because uh, the caps and the nibs are color coordinated. So if you get black ones, they look the same, and blue ones, and pink, and yellow. And if you get yellow and pink, you get these really cool highlighter ink cartridges, which we can use in our other platinum prep beef. That's really fun. Uh, in this case, though, we're going to convert the guy, this guy to be an eyedropper. So you just need a few basic things. All you really need is um, some ink. This will hold about three and a half mLs of ink. I measured it earlier. Um, a syringe or an eyedropper to get the ink in here. And the actual pen, obviously. And you need a washer. You can go to the hardware store and get this. It's called a number 5 O-ring. The measurements are, it's a 1 16th inch O-ring with a 1 quarter inch internal diameter, a 3 8 inch outer diameter. And it's a common item. You shouldn't have any problem. You put this little guy on the section right there at the end of the threads and when we screw this back on with ink we'll put a little silicon grease on there and screw it in tight enough to seal and then our ink won't come out there it totally works so this process is pretty simple first we're going to take a little bit of silicon grease with a q-tip we really don't need too much of this stuff. And spread it around, maybe a little bit more than I put on there. The threads. And this is going to give us a little bit more water tightness that will repel some of the ink. Just want to take a good look at it to make sure. And I feel very good about that. And then I'm going to set it aside. Takes some of our mountain, our 50 milliliter Lamy Blue standard issue. I got this syringe at Daiso today for a dollar and a half. They have them in two colors too. And I'm going to get about three milliliters of ink out of there. That should be plenty, and we'll inject it into the bottom. That's three. It's not exactly full. And then we put the silicon grease on there. We have the O-ring in place. Gonna screw that all the way in, and then we're gonna do it kind of tightly. I could have put much more ink in here, obviously. And there we go. There's a little bit of grease coming out of there. Pretty soon, we're going to start seeing this work. There you go. It's got tons and tons of ink. You're going to know exactly how much. You can always unscrew it. And the next time you do it, all you do, if it needs it, is apply a little bit more silicone grease. Otherwise, we're good to go. Have fun. Promise you won't keep Cause I'd like to think you're honest
not this far away from me Don't tell me you care when you don't And above all, don't say you'll wait when you won't